Hello, Frog of the Motherland here, and today is a very special episode. I'm going to show you how I did that. This is the beginning of a series where I just kind of go through how I do things uh, to make my little videos. So, last episode and this one right here, the mushrooms had a different texture pack, and I really wanted to show everyone how to make a texture pack on your own, because it's really easy, especially if you have a Mac. And that's what I'm going to be showing, is how to edit textures on a Mac. Because basically it's all free software, and it's fun, so you should do it. So the steps are as follows. Step one, download Minecraft. Uh, if you don't know where to do that, I'll provide a link for you in the description. But once you've downloaded Minecraft, it'll come up and you just have to go to your files. So folders right here. So once you're in your main folders, system folders, you click on your username. Then from your username, you click on libraries. Now the reason we're doing this is because we need to get to the actual uh, files that Minecraft runs on, and it's not right here, it's very deep inside your computer. But once you're here, you go to Application Support, open that up, and here you go, Minecraft. Now you may have a lot more files, so you may need to scroll down and look for it, but here it is right here. So you open up Minecraft, and there's a bunch of other files that you see here. Now, you may want to click right here, Texture Packs, and open that up, but this is Texture Packs that you've already downloaded and whatnot. So if you just downloaded Minecraft, this will be empty. There will be nothing there. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay. So from here, you want to go to this one, Bin. Open up the Bin, and you'll see more folders, but pay attention to the minecraft.jar. Now this is the one where all the texture packs are hiding. Now you may want to open it up, and the first time you do that, it probably won't work, because you haven't told your computer how to open it up. It's like Java jar, Minecraft could not be launched, blah blah blah, blah message error. So the way to open it is with a zip reader or zip editor, whatever you want to call it. If you're doing a Windows or PC, you want to get WinRAW or whatever because they generally don't come with a zip reader. But Apple computers, they come with the utility built in. So you open it with the archive utility and it'll produce a file right here. Now this file, you can open up and read, and somewhere in all these files are the texture packs. So the way, the way to sort them out is just right-click, arrange by, kind, and what you want generally will be at the top. But there's a lot of stuff that you don't want, so you can go ahead and delete those. And this won't mess with your Minecraft game, because this is a separate file now. And we're going to be turning this into its own texture pack. We're going to figure out how to name it, and how to make it look different, and all that cool stuff. This is a lot of files. So if you ever want to make a game, this is what you're dealing with. If you're using Java. Okay, so we got rid of all those. And then we can arrange it again by kind, and there. It's a lot easier to sort through now. Now not all of these are what you want. So, just got to go through them. Look through them, see if there's anything you want to deal with. This is definitely something we want. This is just not what we want for texture packs. And that, probably not. Nope. All right, don't need this.
All right, so I think this is everything. So we'll sort that once again. Now, when you have a texture pack on the Minecraft, you open up Minecraft and you go to the texture pack option and it'll have a little picture there for the texture pack and that's what this is. This shows you, oh, hey, this is the image of the texture pack and the name or the description is this little file right here. So the default look of Minecraft. So if you want to name yours anything other than the default look of Minecraft, you can edit this. So we'll change this to a very random look for Minecraft. I just want to save that. Command S or come up here to files, save, close. So that's saved in there. And those changes are permanent to this file. Okay, so in your Minecraft, you go to texture packs, and this is that image right there. That's what this is. So if you want to change that, that's the one you edit. And this is the description, but the name right here of the texture pack. You'll change that after you've turned this into a zip file. So quickly, we're going to go over editing the pictures. So what I like to, do, like to use is a pixel art editor called Pixin. It's really neat because it works well with the format that all the Minecraft pictures or textures are in. Because it's a it's capable of doing multiple layers and it's really good at pixel art. So we'll go ahead and edit something that we'll be able to see right off the bat. We'll go with stone. So change the look of stone. So we'll zoom up on the stone. Okay. And let's make stone have a face. This is some very professional work here. As you can see, I've been doing this for years, making pixel art. All right, there we go. So that is, we just edited that. Now we can edit a couple more things. Make this a little bit what else shall we edit? Let's edit just make everything have lines through it. Alright, so we've messed that up enough. So what we'll do file Save. So that's been saved to your file right here. Now what you want to do is take all of these files, highlight them all, and then you compress them. And it creates a nice little zip file right here. So this is what you want to put into your Minecraft texture pack folder. Now there is an easier way to do that. You just open texture pack folder and they'll open that right up. Before that didn't work with Max but they fixed it so it does. So you just grab this. Oh wait, before you do that, you just name this to whatever you want. Okay. So this is the name this however you want texture pack. You place it inside the texture packs of the Minecraft folder. Close that out and Boom! Here it is. Name this however you want. That's it. So we click done. Wonderful. Then we go into single player. 
let's do some tweaking. All right, and there you have it. You see we edited the wood texture pack, so the wood looks a little bit mossy. And we also scribbled all over this texture pack, so that looks different. Nice and stupid. Oh, and we also changed the faces of the stone. Whoa, look at that, that is great. So you can edit your own texture pack just like that. You saw it was pretty simple and fun. But yeah, you can do some pretty creative things. So there you go. You no longer have to search the internet for someone else's texture pack. Just go ahead and make your own. It's as easy as that. Just want to thank you for watching. And check out my channel. I've got some great episodes coming up here shortly. All right. Goodbye, and thank you.